One of the benchmark sales for 2013, the annual NCC Brahman sale, notched up another highly successful sale at Inverio Station near Duringa. The entire catalogue of 92 bulls sold at auction to average $7,255 and included 45 sons of the highly fancy JDH Mr Elmo Manso that averaged $9,500. 25 females topped at $15,000 and averaged $4,280 to clear 80% of the offering. Bulls hit $32,000 twice. The Nobbs family, Yeoman Brahman Springshaw, paid top dollar for FBC Dynasty Manso 5361, offered by invited vendors FBC Brahman's Wallen. Gavin Scott and family Rosetta Station Collinsville matched that when Mr Scott paid $32,000 for NCC Empire, an Elmo son that would join a bull breeding program producing bulls for their own use. Grey bulls averaged $7,350. $52 for 61 bulls, while reds averaged $7,064 for 31 bulls and topped at 18000 A full sale report will be in next week's Queensland Country Life. Well, I think um, Sharon this year um, it was an extraordinary result considering the dry that Queensland is currently experiencing. The, um, you know, every week without rain now people are losing a little bit of confidence in the, in the overall um, outlook for the spring. Uh, so yeah, we're really quite excited at the result and the, um, the number of repeat buyers that we had today and, um, yeah, and, the, and the clearance of their bulls, we're, we're very happy. It's about where the industry is at the moment, um, you know, Brahman Week Club, um, you know, a bit higher than that for, for one bull, but um, generally you know, for the industry right across the Boston News Cattle, the Boston News Breeds around about that 30 mark is, is about where, where we're at. And, um, no, we're generally very happy. Yeah, the Everinghams were, were very grateful for their support today. It um, really put a solid floor in the, in the market and uh, um, they've been uh, repeat buyers for a number of years, so we were, we were very happy that um, they were here today and were able to take as many as they did. Yeah, definitely, and I think um, Brum Week was a good, uh, a good reflection of that, that you know, there was only you know, 10 or a dozen bulls went to the north of Tubbs to Elsie North, and I think no bulls from the west of Jericho, which um, so it means that the bulk of the bulls went to the Valley Endo, you know, the Valley Endo South down to the White Bay Burnham, and um, that's, a, that's a lot of bulls to be absorbed into not traditionally Brahman country anymore. Uh, you know, no such a lot of the in the north. Uh, so I think it's a real endorsement for the Brahman breed. People are you know, going back to basics of um, survivability and, and um, adaptability of Brahman cattle and realising that they have to have a certain surge of Brahman content in their herd. And I think this day and age there's a big difference between a good Brahman and a bad Brahman. Honing in on those kind of quality Brahman cattle and realising what they have to offer the beef industry. Yeah, next year we're, um, you know, we're uh, looking to line up another quality line up, line up of bulls again and uh, we've got some new sires coming through next year so yeah, we're excited for, for the prospects of, of the next year's draft and um, hopefully with the, you know, the new government and the and, um, the better outlook for live export and the improving prospects of that in the year to come that um, the oil industry in the north will be having a good season and um, 